back again in Christie's shop. Hopefully you guys got to check out late fall, early fall top 10 baits that he covered. We're gonna do early spring today. So you're gonna wanna check these out. We've got his top 10 picks laid out here on the deck. He's gonna break down which ones are his top five, possibly go into some more detail about the others. I'm gonna let you go right now. So give us your top five, Jason. Early spring must haves. Top five, first of all, early spring's my favorite time of the year. That pre-spawn, you know, around 50 degrees, it's so hard to leave some of the baits out. But top five, you know, I gotta start with three quarter ounce covert with the pulse on the back. Um, I've just, I mean, this is me. Get up on the bank, slow roll it, uh, gonna catch some big ones, cover a lot of water. Uh, you know, the War Eagle Gia Jigsu, what I can't, get with this i want to catch with this flip trees flip docks you'll never see me do a spring top five without this bait being in there i don't care if i'm 70 years old i've just <laughs> this this i mean these fish this time of year they get up there and stage on points and stuff and and being able to jerk it and, and that bait just hover over the top you know it catches big ones you can catch a lot of them and it's just i mean i have a, a lot of confidence color in. choice on that is that your top color blue chrome yeah blue chrome and then if the water's dirty or if it's cloudy i'll go with the orange belly um and it's just a confidence deal per personal preference good tip cloudy hope yeah. you guys caught that yeah. orange or dark yeah it's right. something that you'll okay. uh yeah it's just that's a that's a cool bait one of the baits in the top 10 that's kind of moved up really really fast for me is the speed in um this is ghost pepper this is a bait that just from throwing it the last couple of years i'm getting a lot of confidence in it um, it catches big ones i can cover a lot of water it has that tight action uh, we have great colors in it um, it just catches them i mean i don't i know why but it just catches right it's one of those baits yeah. so you got ghost pepper there in the norman speed in so all obviously we're focusing on crawl patterns in that crank but yeah. when do you transfer to maybe a shad pattern really the spawn okay i mean i'll kind of stick and it depends on watercolor i'm not going to go throw this you know in gin clear water but a lot of times we're in that stain or i can find some stained water which i'm more comfortable fishing with but uh that just gives you a variety but Kind of the rule for me is around the spawn is when I go to more so shad patterns because yeah. they, they want to start feeding up. You know, this bait in the top five, just for one reason, you know, if I'm on a lake like Tin Killer, Table Rock, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, something that's really clear and these fish are still staged up out deeper, you know, I can slow roll this yum Scottsboro out there 15, 20 foot on some of these ledges and uh, it, it'll catch them. You know, it, it does the same thing kind of as this, just in clearer water. Okay. You know what I mean? The staging, these are staging baits. Okay, what color is that you got there? That's the rainbow shed. Rainbow shed. Rainbow shed, yeah. yum Scottsboro. Yeah. Okay. And what's cool about it is in the sun, you know, those little old flakes and stuff, they just bring out a shed. I mean, it looks like a shed. Nice. But, you know, picking five, is so hard because my favorite we left out some baits that are probably your primary bait I some mean, money makers some money makers yeah. you know this how popular of a bait is this right yeah. i mean early right. spring I, that's what when you showed me your top five i'm like yeah. i'm not questioning you by any means well, your top five but i was like how do you not have that in there probably the only reason that I, that I left this out is i can do a lot of the same things with this okay these kind of coincide if you see this on the front deck of my boat more than likely, I'm gonna have another rod with this tied on just because I can do it the same way in a lot of places. This is not just a grass bait. This is right. an open water bait as well. I can go down the bank with this spinner bait, turn around and come back right back through with this bait and catch fish that I wouldn't have caught with this. So you got there the Booyah one knocker. So there, there's a hard knocker as well. One knocker's one single tungsten rattle. Hard knockers, multiple BBs in there. So why are you picking up the one knocker versus the hard knocker? Personal preference, I just like the lower pitch of the one knocker. Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of guys like the hard knocker. I just, I prefer the one knocker uh, over that. Okay. You know, and, and the other four baits, you know, this is the spine crawl. I flip mat, mats with it. Uh, you know, we go to Florida. I can, I can put a big hook in it. it I mean, it's compact. I've caught more fish probably on this bait than all of these combined uh, over my lifetime, just 300 bandit and that color, just tie it on and take off. Get on rocky banks, transition banks, and you're gonna catch fish. So that's a chartreuse brown crawl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, okay. and you know, this bait's been around a long time. Um, 
and these two kind of, you know, it's like, which one do you get? They're both mm -hmm. great baits, but there's times when that water is in that mid forties that this really, really shines. And, you know, obviously I pick fire tiger cause I fish a lot of dirty water. Bomber um, flat A, yeah. okay. Yeah, then you have the War Eagle uh, Heavy Finesse here. You know, you have to have baits that cover water and then you have what I call cleanup baits. You know, you may go down a bank with a crankbait and catch four and turn around with a jig and go back through yeah. it and really, really pick it apart, clean them up. Um, that's why a couple of these jigs, uh, jigs make the top 10. Top 10 early spring baits right there broken down by Christy. We've got more information on LureNet.com. You can also get every color selection at LureNet.com in all of his top 10 baits. You guys go check it out for your early spring needs.